Nice to meet you, Ernest. Oh, um, the seventies generation. It was like kind of like out there, like kick ass. It was like I love you guys, like hippies, like out of the hippie zone. But it, was like, it was like a real like changing times. Like the music experiences, like the disco. It was like more of a hands-on like type generation. What do you regret and what do you take out of it that you still apply to your life? Well, that's a real interesting uh, question. Uh, well, I was actually raised, I mean, my time, I sort of crossed over times just because I was sort of a young, I was sort of youngish for my age. I grew up in like the 60s, but the 60s were uh, a little fast moving for me. They, uh, um, it was a very, the 60s was a real revolutionary time because you had people uh, um, protesting Vietnam by the thousands. Uh, a lot of organizations were developed. Uh, you had the civil rights movement, uh, the, the peace movement, then of course um, uh, the gay movement. Various, various things were starting to form uh, all over America. And then there was um, the drug culture that was happening at the time. Uh, the 70s, um, things started shifting in the 70s, some for the good and some for the bad. The good was that some of, the, some of us in the 70s saw how, um, for instance, the drug abuse of the 60s took down a lot of people that you know, we really needed and we really cared about and who could have been such important voices in our time. So we learned about that, but also people also became very, uh, a little more entrepreneurial. And for instance, in rock and roll, I watched rock and roll go from in the 60s as being a very political voice, uh, a voice that brought us all together, to becoming something where you could make money. And in do, there's nothing wrong with making money, but it sort of shifted, shifted the emphasis. And, uh, you know, it's like, I can't say I regret anything, but you see things happening over and over and over again. And all I would say is, from what I learned, is to remember that the arts, or all the things that we do, the first thing that we need them for is to inspire one another, is to make change, is to unify us. And then it's good to make a living, but we can't forget the motivation and, uh, of what makes us creative. Sometimes if we're not successful right away, especially in these times where there's a lot of pressure to be financially successful, people think they're losers because they're not rich and famous. But rich, being rich and famous does not equate your good in the world. It does not equate the quality of your life uh, or your work. And I think that's something that we all have to examine, especially in these times. But I don't know if that answers your question. Yes, well. but, uh, if it doesn't, you can uh, fire me. <laughs>